RJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment. The Jacksonville Jaguars have finally broken up with their abusive boyfriend as they fire head coach Gus Bradley and Jacksonville Jaguar fans anywhere and everywhere from India to London are ecstatic because they finally got rid of their horrible head coach, Gus Bradley. I call him Gus Badly because he sucks so badly as a head coach in the NFL. I mean, honestly, I'd have to go back and check, but he must be the worst head coach of all time. To finish with a record of 14 and 48, to never finish a season with more than five wins, and yet to still coach for four years almost, it's absolutely absurd. I've never seen anything like it, and I'm sure that I will never see anything like it again. Unless if, uh, you know, another stupid organization, maybe the Jaguars again, uh, decides to stick with an abusive relationship like this in the future. God forbid. God forbid this. Because, God, how can you keep him for as long as they did? I don't know. And then, in such Jacksonville Jaguarian fashion, they fire Gus Bradley on the flight home this news broke or maybe even before the flight home as they went to Houston today to take part in a divisional matchup against the Houston Texans okay a matchup in which this team was up 20 to 9 and they should have won the game but Tom Savage of all people came into the game and led his team back to absolute victory over this horrible football team that is the Jacksonville Jaguars and also in such Gus badly in fashion they are now I mean, this was going to be their worst record under Gus Bradley, which is incredible to say, right? Because this is a team that's been just horrible. They went 3-13 and 13 and 5-11, and 11, and I think, did they go 2-14 in 2020? That was with Mike Malarkey. So this is, if they would have went 2-14, and 14, which I believe all of us can agree they would have went, this would have been the worst record under this horrible regime, which has been full with nothing but terrible records. Last year, they underachieved. This year, they tremendously underachieved. I'm a clown a baboon that came on here and said the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win seven games. And how ridiculous does that look now as they're going to go 2-14 and 14 or maybe 3-13 and 13, they can upset either the Titans or the Colts. I'm not going to upset both, but maybe one of them in the upcoming two weeks. So Gus Bradley's gone, and they're probably going to keep their general manager, Dave Caldwell. This is something that I believe is a mistake. Uh, for me, to me, I get rid of him, okay? I mean, I, I get rid of this guy. Yes, he has found some pieces. He found both of the Allen wide receivers, Allen Robinson and Allen Hearns. I believe he found Telvin Smith, if he didn't correct me down below. He found Yannick Ngakue, the third-round draft pick, a defensive end that has got a number of sacks in his rookie season. He drafted Jalen Ramsey, was what he should have done. But he also passed. I mean, he had an opportunity in the 2014 NFL draft. They were the third pick in the draft. You had four quarterbacks: Teddy Bridgewater, Johnny Manziel, Derek Carr, and who did I not mention? Somebody, okay? Um, <laughs> somebody that's probably not very good. Oh, and Blake Bortles. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Blake Bortles, who they took. And they took Blake Bortles, okay? Out of Teddy Bridgewater, Blake Bortles, Johnny Manziel, and Derek Carr. Two of them have been all right. One of them's been very good in Derek Carr. That was the one you should have got. Bridgewater's been fine. Johnny Manziel's been a disaster. And then Blake Bortles has been the other disaster, okay? In terms of play on the field, he's been bad. This year especially. Uh, this year, he's been absolutely terrible. His rookie year was worse, okay? But dear God, this year has been bad. I mean, this guy is such a loser. I do it every week. I'll do it again. I do my Donald Trump impression talking about Blake Bortles, okay? This is what it is. Blake Bortles is a total loser. Look, I, I like Blake Bortles. He's a nice guy. The guy's a loser. He's a lightweight. He's not good enough to be the quarterback. And that's the truth. Blake Bortles, I mean, I was watching this Houston, Texas game as he just lost the ball up and is just intercepted on the first drive of a potentially game-winning drive. He doesn't he doesn't know what he's doing. He just lofts it up, says, please, Allen Robinson, just come down with it. And he doesn't do it, of course. I also saw the drive before that as he was just running around in the pocket and then he just got like turned around and he just spinned the ball up in the air, not knowing where it's gonna go Blake Bortles is a loser the guy doesn't know how to win games he can't win games I'm shocked that back at UFC or U UCF sorry that he led a game-winning drive over Louisville and Teddy Bridgewater. Because ever since he did that I don't know where he's been I mean this guy's been a disaster in the NFL 
in terms of do we give him one more year i personally it depends okay if you you're gonna be drafting very high this year probably third okay so let's say you're drafting third in the nfl draft the same position you took blade portals if you're sitting there and you have a mitch trubisky who you like or you have a deshaun kaiser who you like or you have deshaun watson who you like you gotta take him you have to take them because to me there should be no uh you know <laughs> room for blake bortles or, you know no safe zone for him he, his job should be in serious jeopardy if there's no one there that you like then fine take someone else but i'm taking a quarterback in the first two rounds if you don't take one in the first round in the second round come back and take a deshaun watson or take a brad kyer or in the third round or fourth round take a chad kelly or you gotta take somebody man because Next year, he's going to come in probably as a starter, but man, he's not going to be very good again. Maybe you need an offensive coordinator that comes in and fixes him, but yeah, I just see things from this guy. His football IQ is just so low. He doesn't know how to read defenses. He gets fooled by safeties and linebackers that aren't even running that much complex stuff. He doesn't know what he's doing. The guy stinks, okay? In terms of potential head coaching candidates, okay? You're looking at Mike Smith, and initially I was turned off by this, but the more I think about it, I really think Mike Smith would actually be a good hire for this football team. I don't think you need to try to knock it out of the park. I don't think you can, right? I don't think John Gruden is walking through that door anytime soon. But Mike Smith is a guy that won in Atlanta when 66 and 46. is still had less losses, by the way, than Gus Bradley. Dear God, uh, he went 66 and 46 when Gus Bradley went 14 and 48. Dear God. Uh, so Mike Smith was very successful in Atlanta. Didn't win a Super Bowl, but you don't need that. You need to be competitive again. He'll get you there. Now, he may not be the Super Bowl winning coach that you want him to be but I think he can get you to the playoffs you know in time and then offensively hopefully he can find an offensive coordinator and whatnot to help that uh, but Dave Caldwell I wouldn't keep him it sounds like you guys are uh, Shad Khan what I like about him although he did keep Gus Bradley for too long it does tell me if you guys can actually hire a good coach He'll be patient with that good coach. So it may take another year or two, and I know you don't want to hear that, but there, this is a sign of optimism, okay? Gus Badley is out of the building. This is good news. He's on the plane right now crying his eyes out. Dear God, help him. Um, and this is now a step forward for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And you're going to be 2-14, and 14, right? And there's it's nothing but up from here. You've been here before, uh, but it's nothing but up from here. I truly believe that uh, hire the right coach. I, I like Mike Smith you could go out on a limb and go with a Josh McDaniels, but I don't think he wants to come, honestly. Maybe a... I wouldn't go Kyle Shannon, and I think that'd just be a disaster. Although Adam Gates is doing well for Miami, so maybe you can consider it, but I just I wouldn't go Kyle Shanahan. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see where they go from here. Oh, do not hire Doug Marone. I think that'd be a mistake. Doug Marone, he's just not very smart to me. Mike Smith is smart. Okay, he's been the defensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this year. He has elevated this defense to an elite level in the NFL. I like Mike Smith. Don't go with this Doug Marone uh, assistant head coach guy. He wasn't very impressive in Buffalo. He's not going to be good, okay? So stay away from Doug Marone. There you go. Those are my thoughts on this Jacksonville Jaguars firing of Gus Bradley. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. I want to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, to subscribe. And until next time, this has been the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment. I'm out.